Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today is going to be a really interesting uh, day. I have to drive about 150 miles one way to go see an amazing machine, which is another W124 Mercedes 300E black on black. And what's interesting is actually I was going to buy it as is, uh, but an amazing owner, Jason, got it running. Uh, he just literally installed the distributor cap on it and the car started up and ran. He put like, a, he said he put like three gallons of fresh gas in it. You know, it, like I was telling him that I can probably pick it up as is, you know. Uh, that would have been really cool for the video, but even then, you know, he wants it to go to a good home. And, uh, you know, if I decide to get this car, then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of it and just, you know, you know, probably do a lot of stuff to it and clean it up and make it good because it's sat for a little bit uh, but yeah I just wanted to take you guys along and so we can enjoy this amazing machine once we get there and just so you can see how it is because I haven't seen it in person just yet but you know I'm excited to see that car and uh, it's pretty rare you know it's pretty rare to find a black on black W124 it's about 8 o'clock in the morning uh, you know uh, the weather's getting better here in Nevada actually the car itself is basically just a little bit past the border of Nevada and California, so it's not super, super far, but like I said, it's about 150 miles. Yeah, so we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, some energy this morning, some energy from this man. So we're almost there as you can see there's a bunch of snow here because we hit like a pretty high elevation uh here in california so yeah i can't wait to have like about 20 more miles left and we're gonna see that amazing machine look at that machine right there that 126 Benz, God, I gotta go tell him, uh, give him thumbs up. Man, that's cool. What an amazing machine. Yay. Amazing car. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a diesel. I can see the badge. Turbo Diesel 300 SD. Yeah. Lovely machine. What? Almost here, guys. Finally. After a few hours of driving. Uh, yeah, there's a power steering squealing noise, especially when you turn the wheel a little bit. But when I did, about two years ago, when I did uh, have it pass smog and registered, it, uh, mm -hmm. it was running pretty fine. Um, and then I, I noticed that uh, I'd mentioned, I'd asked about the hard shifting. Okay. Because it's kind of like, yeah. like if you're just like rolling, going slow, like at ease, mm -hmm. like it mm -hmm. would have a little bit of a harder shift okay. into the gears. That's fine. But... Mm -hmm. Um, when you'd like actually kind of step on the gas a little bit, like if it was mm -hmm. going a little faster, it would just shift smooth. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's not a huge deal, you know, it's the, I just want to check a couple more things. Yeah. It's so totally. the power steering. That's the power steering? Yeah. It's a little bit low. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's... Mm. Probably gonna need two new tires too, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. 
I think brakes, it brakes are kind of... Yeah. Like 30 minutes. Or 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the, back, the very back passenger side is the only one that's holding air right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. And I do have the... Uh, on the passenger yep. front side is the, uh, the full-size spare, but I do have... Oh, okay. That's the full-size spare that was out of the trunk. Oh, that's the one? The, yeah, it looks the, clean. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I do have the uh, other rim sitting up here, though, with gotcha. the old tire on it. Gotcha. Yeah. That's good to know. Oh, and also, yeah, I got to go grab that folder real fast. Okay, that sure. In the car. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah, it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Yes. <laughs> Ring it out with this t-shirt real fast. It's okay. Okay. Is there any on that side? Yeah, there's some moisture right there too. Like, un is like it under the floor mat. Okay. Why, why you don't think it's real? It... Definitely leaking water could be from clogged drains, but... Yeah. I would love to start it up. They installed the, the tuber cap on it and everything. So he says that it runs now. Oh man, amazing car. I need to save this baby somehow. But I live, I'm really far away now, I'm like three hours away. Mm. Check the coolant, I don't know if it's water or what in there. There's liquid. I think it's fine. Man, I want to save this baby. Washer tank, not here. These are getting pretty bad. Some little bit of chewed wires there. I think this is newer, maybe, I don't know. Belt is trashed. Thank you. This that's cool. This came out of the car. It's got literally like the. Oh wow, 2001. That's so cool. Look at that. Yeah, literally the pamphlets. That yeah, I remember those. Yeah. On the mirror and that's stuff. That's really cool. The originals. I think they have the MSRP like yeah, window Windows sticker manual. piece. Window here. sticker. Wow. Yeah. That is really amazing, actually. Wow. You don't have to open it. I believe you. I've seen how they look. Yeah, yeah totally. That's cool. But it's got. I mean, there's receipts mm -hmm. in here. We mm -hmm. got the owner's manual. Nice, nice, nice. Couple maintenance book. Right. Nice. Couple different things. Right. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, thanks for showing that. Yeah, definitely. I've been usually like keep this tucked away. Mm -hmm. I believe the pink slip is in my binder in there, yeah. if not in the safe. Mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. Open those up and check real fast. It is um, registered in my name. Mm -hmm. um, a few of the cards I put my dad's name on them. Yeah, free tool. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's where that went. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that goes there. You can just put it inside the car for now, I guess. You don't okay. like it doesn't get caught in the belt or anything. You know? Yeah. Do you want to start it up? Uh, yeah, we can try to start it up actually. Oh, she starts, yeah, very well. Uh, nice, a great car. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
prime it a little more. You said you you put some fuel in it, right? Yes, yeah, so there's about three gallons in. Three gallons. A couple of people came by to look at it recently. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe we're losing spark again or something because she's not trying to start. Uh, give it Let me just double check. I'll give it a couple more rotations. Yeah. We didn't run it very much when we started it the other day. Yeah. I'm gonna try it again real quick. Okay. Try to give it a little bit of, uh, press the accelerator a little bit, just slightly. She's trying. She's definitely trying. I'm trying to pull the... Trying to perceive the throttle is, is moving, moving. yeah. It is. Can't really, sometimes get stuck. Okay. That's working, that's cool. I have a feeling that maybe the, there's not enough fuel or something, you know? You, uh, it's not leaking from underneath, is it? No, it shouldn't be. I mean, it's trying to, though, but... <sighs> Almost. Maybe it is gas. Huh? Maybe it is Do you gas. smell it? No, I don't smell it, but I was thinking gas, actually. I mean, I think it's spraying. I don't see it leaking. A few moments later. Yeah. Try again. Hang on a second, let me let me try something. Okay, see if it works. Alright. Alright. Uh, hang on, not yet. Alright, try it now. There we go. There she is. Okay. Hang on. I try again. Uh, let me show you. So, well, first of all, this this hose was disconnected, all right? Oh, it was? Yeah, so it was causing a vacuum leak. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And then also, like, the way your filter was installed, it was all loose, you know? So the way to install this type of filter uh -huh. is you take these 10 millimeter nuts off and then you unclip these, all right? All of them? Yeah, unclip all of them because on the bottom right here, as if you can see, there's a seal. Oh, and that yeah. seal has to go around this right here. Okay. This distributor right here. Yeah. This is called this is called the fuel distributor on these cars. This is a mechanical fuel injection. All right. Yeah. This is not a carburetor. This is something in between the carburetor and electronic fuel injection. So it's not electronic. So it's not. It is electronic part of it. All right. Which is this guy. Okay. All right. That's the regulator. But this right here, this is all mechanical. Uh -huh. So your fuel injectors right here. They're all mechanical. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, okay. while the engine is running, it's constantly spraying fuel. Shh. Right. Whereas, like, you know, electronic injection is, like, when they're going to be pulsing, you know, like the fuel injectors. Yeah. But these, it's constantly running. Yeah. And is that also, like, a, a feature as to why there's two fuel pumps on the car? So, yeah. So, these, these, some of them came with two fuel pumps, which these engines, they all came with two fuel pumps. Mm -hmm. Like, so if you have that engine like that, it's going to have two fuel pumps, basically. Then in about 1993 to like 
Starting about like 1993, they switched from two pumps to one pump. Yeah. Okay. Do, do uh, many other newer, Merce well, uh, maybe not new ones, but like the years after this, um, do any of those have the external fuel pumps? So yeah, up until 2002 or something, they still had external fuel pumps. Okay. The E-Class, there was like 2003 model, the fuel pump in there, good luck. It was, uh, it was underneath the rear seat and it's all that nonsense that you have. These ones, is, it's really nice to service like the fuel system on this car. Yeah. Like it has that, uh, it has those two pumps and literally it's so easy to get to them, you know, and right, everything. Yeah. I noticed yeah. that like the design, like the injectors don't look like they'd be too hard to replace. Oh, it's easy, service. bro. Yeah. This is, this is uh, 14 millimeter right here. This nut, you take it off. Uh, you might have to disconnect uh, wherever this line goes. Yeah. This is a 12 millimeter, all of these. And then you just loosen this nut and then you loosen this 14 millimeter nut and you just move the line out of the way uh -huh. and then this is your holder right here oh, this the is allen the allen key is literally five millimeter allen key like this bro yeah definitely. it's so it's so easy and then after you take it off this bracket right here it slides down and off and you pull the injector out right it's super like it's so simple to work on these cars man you yeah. know uh you just gotta put a little bit of time and love to them and they're gonna be amazing again Absolutely, um, yeah. yeah. And I realized that, and yeah, that's why, like, you know, my dad and I aren't strangers to doing yeah. mechanic work and working on cars. He's, yeah. he's restored lots of classic nice. cars. Nice, right. So, that's awesome. Yeah, that's why, like, I got this car, I and mean, yeah. I just love the look of it, and I know they're not... It's amazing. Uh, yeah. Especially black on black, it's a rare option, especially on these cars. Right. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Black on black. And I wanted, like, a super badass, clean, black mobster car. Like, you can't yeah. get better than this. Right. Know? Really? Yeah, man. Amazing cars. Do you have a uh, like a good source for getting parts and things like that? Oh yeah, yeah. I can I can tell you all the like places where I get all my parts and everything. Honestly. Uh, also, the the reason why I think it's leaking water inside, probably because all of all of this junk. Oh. So inside. Underneath of this, there's like a drain uh, in the center of it. Uh -huh. So long story short, so you have to take this uh, mono wiper out. They call it mono wiper. This this wiper assembly. Uh -huh. You take it out. Then underneath, there's um there's like a blower motor. You have to like you might not need to take it out, but you should be able to get to like there's a drain literally, and there's a bunch of leaves and everything accumulated now, and it could be causing the water leak inside right now. I understand. That's okay. why. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's leaking from this. Uh, it's just, no, it's not an exhaust leak. That's the oil, oil leak. Yeah, just the oil burning off. Yeah. That It needs a valve cover gasket too, you know. I mean, it needs, it needs quite a bit of love, you know. Yeah. Piece unplugged right now. That's fine. On that yeah. side. Yeah. I did get a, that's the. Yeah. Yeah, let me look at the power steering fluid really quick. I did get a new knob. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks good, yeah. Yep, I like that. Yeah. Man. 300E, what a great car. Yeah, I was driving it around because I did all the detail work and, like, I did the compound. Right, and right. Fucked out the whole car, got the paint looking as good as it, good as it did in the pictures. Uh, and when I was, like, when I had it smogged and registered yep. and insured and stuff yeah. like when i would drive around town like people would yeah like yell oh, yeah. compliments and stuff nice at me, nice like, yeah yeah see how low it is oh yes yeah it definitely needs to be topped off okay it I'm takes not... automatic trans fluid red one like the, the same the same yeah, yeah 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 i have the bottle of my car nice yeah, like, what you got? yeah we can we can put it in there now oh boy what an amazing machine Needs a lot of love. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm gonna offer him to come here and fix it. That I'll fix it for him. And do some work because he was driving this car before and everything. Let's shut it off for a second. I'm gonna top off that power steering. All right. Oh, I like that cup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Trans fluid. Needs to be replaced. Yeah. So now your power steering should be back to life. Excellent. 
Yeah, that was one of the things, like, because this yeah. one guy had messaged me, um, mm. and he was like, I, I want this car, I'm coming down to get it, I'm pulling cash out huh. of the ATM, huh. Huh. and then he comes he down never... here with his friend, and, he, uh -huh. and he, I told him, I was like, well, you read the description, like, right. it needs work, and yeah. he's like, uh, he's like, yeah. He was I, expecting I, everything to be amazing? No, no, <laughs> well, he told me that he wanted a project car, right, so right. I was like, okay, cool, and he, he brought a trailer mm -hmm. to tow it on and stuff. You and never then, took it? No, he got here with his friend, and he's like, him and his, well, he, he was relying on his buddy to tell him everything, and like, he was like, oh, yeah, there, something's wrong with your power steering, oh, that, that <laughs> that's not good, and like, just scared the shit out of him, and then he's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass, and he left. Oh, that's so sad, man, yeah. I mean, these cars, even in this condition, honestly, like, you'll be able literally, like, just by putting about, like, a week of work into this thing, it's going to be, like, you can make it immaculate, bro. Yeah. Just by, like, detailing it and everything and, you know. Right. Um, it's, 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 man, it, they're amazing cars, honestly. They, I, I can't. They are. And I'm going to keep saying that because that's what I say on my yeah. channel as well. The, the and more, even, even this bumper is all intact. Usually, sometimes they're cracked on the bottom, but this one is, like... It's all good intact. I did these, replace, yeah. You replaced these. I, I, replaced I noticed them. that. That's yes, nice. I did. I, I found those on Amazon for like, yeah, cheap. they have them everywhere, actually. Yeah. Right, yeah, but what I do actually for the future is what I do is before I install new ones, mm -hmm. what I do is I put a uh, plastic clear film protection on it. Okay, so what that's gonna do is it's not gonna change the looks of it or anything, but it's just gonna protect oh. it from all the future rock chips and get going bad. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's kind of kind of how you preserve it, basically, you know, right? Um, definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah what else? The, the more we're getting into it and digging here, I know power steering, I'm power like, steering oh, fixed. Man. Wow, I man. honestly think so. So, here's the dilemma I, um, my friend's truck is kind of down on power now, so like, but I still wanted to come here and meet you and you know, of course, hang yeah. out and just you know, talk about this car and all that. So, I'm not 100% sure whether I'm gonna pick it up or not, but there's another thing that I, I'm gonna offer to you is. I might have some time to actually like maybe not just once but a couple of times I can come here and just help you like you know work it on uh, work on this car or fix it you know and you know you could probably even like keep it or something like that you know what I mean I, yeah, it's, I, would, I think they're, yeah, they're also not so here here's what I think about all this right mm -hmm. so you can you can spend 40 grand on a brand new car which is going to depreciate in price like crazy yes and you're going to yeah. be having crazy ass payments every single month on that car plus insurance blah blah right absolutely or you can put some time love and some money into these cars right and you're going to know you're putting you're putting money and love into some uh, good damn car because this is a good damn car yes and you're going to know it will last you a long long time absolutely. you know like things like okay you have abs light on right now it could it's probably just something simple like right here i'll show you this is called the voltage uh, over voltage protection relay right here okay uh, this is the part that is responsible for a lot of like powering up a lot of like uh electrical stuff in this car in yeah. this particular car so it can go bad and cause the the light to be on right. or another thing that, that that can cause that is it has two abs sensors on each wheel and one in the rear differential it really? has three abs sensors yes okay so but the sensors basically never go bad right these sensors what can what can happen to them is just a lot of like accumulation of dirt that's Dust. on them exactly yeah. you just pull the sensor out clean it. you clean it with brake line you reinstall it and your problem is fixed wow okay exactly i do so and i mentioned i do have the airbag uh disconnected on the floor on the passenger floor mm -hmm. yeah i had unplugged it that's so fine. when i that's got fine. the car there was uh i believe there's some sort of maybe aftermarket security system that was uh here. so this i don't know what's in the trunk there's a bunch of wires that you have in the trunk did you see but, the stereo but uh oh i did not see it actually is it uh okay it's probably it's probably for like somebody somebody wanted the subwoofer or something maybe yes, installed it's, it's like we okay. have a couple crossovers down right there and so <clears throat> loads of stereo wires. yeah yeah so that that's fine i mean somebody was probably trying to install the subwoofer in the back so they usually yeah. run the wires from the front to the back of the car which mm -hmm. I don't like that spaghetti, but you know, it's, yeah, it's whatever. I, it's ancient technology um, too, but this yeah. right here okay. was probably where they were putting. Yeah, it looks like they tried to do some mods to that. That's fine, yeah. Right, nothing um, too bad, the five disc CD changer. Yeah, yeah. I also love how you can actually mm -hmm. arm the car and yeah. unlock everything. With, with just at, one, yeah. Every you know that um, if you really want it, there's, a, there's an aftermarket. It's really super easy to install. I've done it on multiple cars. There's an aftermarket, uh, keyless entry system that you can install and you can have yeah you can have a key fob to open and unlock this car beautiful yeah and it's literally super easy it costs like 15 
It costs fifteen dollars yeah. online, and underneath this seat, that's where you uh, there's a there's a plug in. You just have to like splice a couple of wires in, and I've done it on a lot of cars, right. and it's it's a great add on to this car, you know. Definitely. But that's most of the aftermarket stuff that I would personally do to the car, probably. How's you, you how replacing like the seat belts and stuff in them? Seat belts? Is um, hard to get okay, uh, I don't see a problem with this seat belt. I see the only the that has mold, but that's yeah. fine it's easy to clean this up the the retractors and stuff though get okay so because the back so, one didn't retract okay um but this one you're saying it's uh, retracts like slowly or, or something is that what the, you're saying the back one in the mm -hmm. driver's side back mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. not actually okay i will look at it but uh long story short this one if it, you've uh, like if it's going uh back up slowly mm -hmm. you can grab a like a full bucket of soapy water and you literally just take it all out and soak it in hot soapy water and yeah. you scrub it a little and right. after that it's gonna be like new again i've I seen someone um, gave someone gave me a good tip too when you pull it all out put a clip on it up here yep so yep you can uh, you out. can pull like so yeah. i use those like the the wooden clips you right. know i use those and yeah it's just gonna hold it out like this for yes. you yeah definitely uh but yeah let me look at that uh seat belt really quick um, and then the <sighs> blower motor yep is, I, I believe it's under the dash uh no the blower motor is actually underneath the wipers assembly Wiper. yeah it's on the outside yeah i'll show you where it's okay. at uh this one you said yeah oh okay oh. so it just broke looks like it, or something is it broken off of there oh my that's gosh. i've never that seen that been my dad holy uh, crap yeah i don't know i've never i've never seen that well, but I yeah asked. these uh these are yeah it's not too bad you just pull this out and this plastic trim piece uh, and then there's going to be a few bolts holding the whole assembly in. Okay, but it's yeah. not too hard to get no, to. No, no, it's easy. Okay. It's not hard at all. Right. Yeah. I did take the door panel off. Mm -hmm. um, there's a plastic clip that, mm -hmm. where the window is attached. Mm -hmm. On the inside in there, uh, that plastic clip side door, they have the one and two position. Uh -huh. and that's the memory. Oh, yeah. That's the memory driver. seats. Oh, and yeah. I believe like, with the, each set of key, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. whichever, depending on which key you put in, it'll yeah. automatically adjust it. To yeah, the yeah. Yeah, used to make amazing was, cars really yeah cool. and uh you know the the power seats are all working it's amazing man oh, you know yeah, it's this wow car was decently you know preserved yeah. i mean like it was in a good enough area but it did yeah. sit for like 20 years like 20 years that, yeah you saw it, it was like barn find <laughs> yeah yeah i saw that i remember that but Dude. thanks for saving this car honestly you know i just what i think is we just need a little bit of more time to you know get this back get this road back uh, you know, or get this car back on the road i mean you know yeah. just put it back to life bring it you know because right. it like i said it's, it won't take too long it won't take much to you know yeah. get get it going like i said it's it's all this stuff it looks like it's a lot of stuff and everything it's it's right. not really well, and considering it it's passed, just it passed smog so easily yeah. too it's like i could literally put yeah. the tires on it and mm -hmm. get it smogged exactly it, exactly start driving it again like yeah a little bit um and or i can register it for you in my state and you don't have to pass smog or anything oh, yeah <laughs> okay you know what i mean yeah i know that but uh, yeah i mean california is unfortunate how they do it here you know it's yeah. crazy stuff but and i can see yeah. like, my biggest problem just with the car yeah. is going to be like I, especially right now like budgeting and yeah, stuff for like sure. i with, yeah. with everything happening and yep. um yeah my girlfriend and i yeah but this this is gonna see how like nice it's, if you look from the side see how like oh, nice yeah. it's gonna look with this with this piece oh for sure it's yeah. like it new it's crazy but yeah, here you go. Oh my gosh, I appreciate that. that. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely, I'll, I'll look into you know. getting how people get them on straighter. I'll, I'll check in. I'll yeah, I think it. this is aluminum, like I said. So maybe just carefully try to like, you know, or I could, I would say we should try maybe practicing on this first, you know, on the old piece. Yeah, to like bend it back there a little wasn't, bit, you know. There wasn't like they didn't have like weight on top of it. No, no. So the reason why it gets warped is just from like the sun and everything, you know. Yeah. Um, that's why like I personally love um doing like stuff like uh not just detailing obviously but i like preserving stuff so i i use like leather and conditioner on all the like vinyl leather seats and all that yeah. and for like wood trim pieces i use uh i use like a, a wood conditioner you know they sell that at home depot yeah. as well uh, so i do that all the time i probably used a whole you know? bottle of that leather stuff oh I nice like just yeah. layered it probably yeah. they poured it in the car and then it, it was real hot yeah. out too so that leather was able to soak it up nicely yep exactly yeah the le leather uh, loves that thing yeah. for sure well i certainly appreciate yeah. this and Let's see how it starts Yep. 
Look at that. That's how she's like inspired. nothing. That's how she's inspired. Amazing machine. Yeah. She needs a little bit of love. You can drive. Exactly. For like 300,000. Exactly. 300, this this miles. these cars are amazing. They're going to this car is going to drive another 50 years, you know. Yeah. All the Teslas are going to be dead by the time this car is still alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. All right. We filled up your power steering. Let's see how it works now. Look at that. Beautiful, nice and quiet. It's all fixed up. It's probably not leaking at all either because I never I never put any in. in uh, there. well, like I said, it's just probably leaking from those uh, return hoses a little bit. It's not a huge deal, that you know. Make sense, yeah. Or if you never checked it or refilled it like in the past, you know, that could be why, you I, know. I but, never had checked it actually. Yeah, so. but that's it. Wow, beautiful. It's all fixed up. She just needs some love. Yes. All of it, honestly. Yeah. I was very curious. Um, and no, I, I so I changed. I changed your. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're thinking about these cars and everything. Yeah. Definitely. So simplified it mm -hmm. greatly. But yeah, like I said, uh, I'll come back a couple more times and we can get this car back and even better, you know, and probably running, you know. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the first, like I said, just t needs some tires and detailing. That's the main thing. But it's yeah. it's really close, you know. It's really close from being. A daily driver just needs to be gone through a little bit more, you know. Right, yeah, I can believe it. Yeah, yeah. already fixed a couple of things, power steering, and now it starts normally. <laughs> yeah. 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 Easy, yeah. Easy, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I was gonna buy this car, but then I met Jason, and I convinced him to probably most likely he most likely he's gonna keep this car because my friend's truck is actually like kind of down on power right now, so we can't really like come and grab this car but um you know i see a lot of potential in this car and also in the owner jason is you're awesome if you're watching you know so i'm planning to come back here maybe a couple more times and we're gonna get this car back on the road i already fixed a couple things on it today so that's amazing all right we're driving home right now and um i'm gonna keep in touch with jason and everything and it's gonna be really awesome i'll come back here at some point again this month and we're gonna do a lot more work to this amazing machine the weather should be getting a lot more nicer and he's planning to actually take that car closer to the front yard where we can work on it better and all that so super exciting um yeah jason is is awesome he uh, i know he's gonna have a great car and i just want to see that car back to life